Welcome back to a fun haircut transformation, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Today, we are doing a high skin fade on my client. As you can see, it's been a while since he had his haircut. Um, yeah, this is like, I think he said it was like four or five months of growth, maybe longer, I don't know. But his hair is long as hell. And yeah, we're going to chop all this down. So first things first, we got a number four guard on the clipper lever close. And we're going to make sure we scoop out as we come up towards the top because we don't want to go too far in. So that way it's not like too rounded at the top once we start to trim to blend it in. But anyway, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and remove a lot of the weight. You can see I'm using my comb to get some of that weight out of there with the clipper so I don't go too high. And uh, once we get a lot of that weight out the way, we're going to go ahead and start to begin our fade. But today, I actually did the fade a lot different um, than I usually do it. Usually, I balled out the whole bottom all the way around, start on one side, then the opposite side, and then the back. But today, did something a little bit different. Today, uh, we are going to start on the left side. Um, so I did number four to remove a lot of the weight. Now I have the one and a half guard on, remove just a little bit more weight. And then now we're going to go ahead and create our line. So we're going to ball out the line on the left side. And then we're going to start to fade on the left side. And then we're going to slowly work our way around from the left, going all the way to the back and then to the right. And we're just going to focus on one side first. So we're not going to like do one side and then opposite and then back. We're going to just go, we're just going to fade this one side. Uh, before balling the whole thing and just kind of go around as we complete the fade So this should be fun. I hope you guys enjoy this video um, As you can see we balled it out the bottom now I'm using a number one guard with the lever open To remove just a little bit more weight, but making sure not to take it too high because like I said we need room to blend Now we have no guard on the clipper, lever halfway open, going up just about uh, one finger's width, and then we are going to close our lever all the way down uh, to a zero, and then we're going to use the corner to blend that into the skin. Next, we have the half guard lever closed and we're going up another just like one finger's width above the line that we previously created. And then we're going to take the lever off, lever, I mean, I'm sorry, take the guard off, lever halfway open and using that corner to just kind of blend into the zero that we did earlier. We're going to skip the one and a half for a second, go to our number two guard, lever closed, and we're going to just remove a lot of uh, the weight towards the top there. As you can see, I'm using my comb to make sure I uh, don't go too far in at the top because, like I said, we want to leave um, some length up there to blend it in so it doesn't uh, get too rounded at the top. Now we are on our one and a half guard, lever closed, going up about a finger's width, and then we are going to switch back to our number one guard. Switching back to our number one guard, uh, lever open, using most of the, mostly the corner, and then we are going to uh, slowly uh, close the lever and using the corner to blend that in. Next, we're going to take the one guard off, put our half guard back on, um, using mostly the corner, kind of playing around with that lever and making sure it blends nicely into the skin.
just removing a little bit more weight with that number two guard. So now you can see the fade is pretty well blended. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the top yet. I'll do that at the end. Um, so it's a little heavy at the top there, you can see that, but as for the fade itself into the skin, it's uh, pretty well blended. And then we're just gonna line up these corners right here, and then we're gonna move on to the back. Like I said, we're just gonna do the whole thing all over again uh, on the back. Um, and like I said, you guys need to definitely try out different styles of like fading and cutting hair to see what works best for you. Some people do fade like this. Some people, you know, do it the way I usually do it, where I start on, where I bald everything out and then start on one side, then the other, then the back. Um, yeah, you know, just work what's best, do what's best for you, whatever feels more comfortable, more natural, um, uh, maybe saves you a little bit more time. And stuff like that if I had to assume I would say that this like takes a little bit longer just because I got to rebald everything out you know um, so I feel like having to rebald every section out all over again uh, kind of takes just a little bit longer than just balding it all out first and then focusing on the fade but um, yeah so we're just gonna do the exact same steps um, on the back and on the opposite side. So I'm just gonna keep going up uh, one guard and in between play around with that lever to uh, use the corner and make sure that we blend and don't go too far in towards the top. That's the main thing. With hair like this, when he wants to keep it really long on top, but he wants a high fade, it's very important to not take the guard um, with the clipper or clipper over comb or whatever and go too far in towards the top because then you could end up giving your client um, the the way the hair lays it might not be what the client's looking for so just make sure not to do that and you should be fine there's anything specific that you guys want to see more of or just see me do um please let me know in the comments because uh i personally love doing skin fades um so that's why i post a lot more of those but uh i do have some other videos of different types of hair um i'll definitely post those as well a lot of people like to see the nice transition with skin fades so that's why you know i stick with those mostly and, a lot, and for a lot of people um, it's harder to like, you know, learn to do skin fades. So they feel like the line is really hard to get out 
and especially on like someone who's more lighter skin you can see everything you know so you really want to make sure that um, you're blending very well so yeah if there's anything else you guys want to see let me know but um skin fades are definitely a fun fun fade to do for me and you know definitely on different types of hair Now with the fade being done, we're gonna go ahead and wet the top. Now he didn't want anything off the top, but I told him, I was like, I'm gonna have to cut some off the side of your top to like blend in so it just kind of lays in nicely. Cause he doesn't want to undercut. So I was like, I'm gonna have to cut some of that length. Oh, he's like, yeah, it's cool. So we're just cutting um, a lot of the length off the side so that when it uh, when he styles it, or when it falls over after a shower or you know get out of the pool and the hair is hanging down it still falls into place and blends into the fade so that's all we're cutting we're just cutting enough for that um, a little bit a little trim off the bangs but nothing dramatic nothing crazy like I said he wants to keep it very long still so that's what we did and uh, you'll see at the end how it all like just kind of falls in when uh, falls into place when it's like kind of combed over to the side
here's a quick reminder of the before and then this is the after i think it came out great he loved it and yeah we uh definitely took some time on this fade hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video